You're about to meet a Perth firefighter who overcame a broken net to pick compete on the national stage. Alex Matthews' car was T-boned when a driver ran a red light. Now he's a ninja warrior and has a message for other young men. He's come a long way since the car crash that broke his neck. You can see that physically he's back to full strength. But what you can't see is the mental scars that he's still carrying. There was definitely tears and, and breakdowns. Alex Matthews' ordeal started at a Perth intersection when he was hit by a driver who ran a red light. It launched him into a world of pain, his neck and wrist broken. It took weeks of intensive medical care and three months in a neck brace. On top of the trauma, depression. My partner, Mia, she's found me a couple of times just out on the couch sort of having a bit of a bit of a cry and not being able to sleep and just the emotion got too much for me and the breaking point for me or the realization I was mentally I wasn't in a good place was uh, having mum call up one day and my partner had been talking to mum and she's sort of like oh we think you need to you know go see someone. Two years after his accident the 33 year olds overcome it all to take on new obstacles this time watched by hundreds of thousands of people. One mistake and they're out. Australian ninja warrior pits the country's fittest against each other in one of the world's toughest physical tests. She's going to have a leap of faith. Oh, no, it's her first plunge. Alex Matthews is one of the 16 West Australians selected to take on the extreme obstacle course in the hope of being declared the nation's first ninja warrior. So it's like a, a children's playground on steroids. Straight oh. up the wall. Intense adrenaline pack, highs and lows. Yeah, physically and emotionally. Alex trained for about 10 hours a week on this course here in Osborne Park, while the course on the show remained top secret, only revealed to competitors once they reached the starting blocks. The ninja rivals are battling it out for $100,000 in prize money. You'll just have to tune in and watch, I guess, but uh, there'll be some entertaining moments in there for sure, yeah. <laughs> Alex Matthews' quest comes with a message. He's encouraging the one in eight Australian men who experience depression to have the courage to seek help. It's a bit of a pride thing, isn't it? A bit of a taboo subject, talking about your, your mental health as a man. And, and I was exactly the same. I bottled everything up, kept to myself, thought I'd deal with it myself, and I just couldn't. Michael Genovese, Nine News.